Hi artists. Today we are going to do a drawing together in order to continue practicing our lines. We're going to use some horizontal lines today, vertical lines, curved lines, wavy lines, and spirals. The assignment for today will be drawing your very own pirate ship. Now, I hope you can get a little bit creative with this. After I'm done with my drawing, you can add to your drawing so many different things. I want you to think about where your pirate ship is going. Is there a deserted island with treasure? I want you to think about what's in the ocean. Is there a kraken or sharks or fish or dolphins? Uh, what time of day is it? Is this pirate ship sailing through the night? Is it sunset? Is it a stormy day? What is happening? I'll also show you how to put some flags on your pirate ship and you can decorate those flags however you would like. I hope you have a lot of fun drawing this ship and practicing lines. When your art is finished, it might look a little something like this. Let's go ahead and get started. Like I already said, today we are creating a pirate ship using line. I'm gonna get started by drawing the ocean. The first type of line I'm going to draw is a bumpy line. You might also call it a wavy line. I'm going to start all the way at the edge and curve up and down. So it looks like waves. All the way across. Next, I'm going to create some spirals. So it looks like there's a lot of movement in the water. I'm going to start at the edge and curve up just like that, then go around, 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 around. Now I'm going to repeat this all the way across. I'll start here at the bottom, curve up, then go around, around, around. Starting at the bottom, curve up, around, around, around. Start at the bottom, curve up, around, around, around. Curve up. Oh, this spiral is going to go off the page a little. That's just fine. Around around, around. Now it's time to start on the actual ship. I'm going to begin by making two lines curving up. I want it to look like my ship's actually in the water, so you're not going to see the bottom of the pirate ship. The back is going to curve up just like this. And then the front will do the same. Now I'm going to draw the top of the boat. And it's not just a straight line, so watch carefully. I'm gonna make a horizontal line. It will be kind of short. Then I'll curve down and it's going to flatten out to make another horizontal line. Again, I went across, curved down, and now I'm going straight. The back of the boat looks a little bit like stairs. I'm going to make a diagonal line, horizontal, diagonal, horizontal. It will look like this, diagonal, horizontal diagonal, horizontal. At the front of the boat, 
you can make a little bit of an extra line coming out like this. Many pirate ships have kind of a pointed edge to the front. Some pirate ships had a mermaid, a wooden mermaid on the front. You could add a mermaid or an animal to the front of your ship if you want. Also, many of these old boats had windows in the hull. I'm gonna make three windows. They're gonna be circles going across. If you want to get really creative, you could even show what's in the bottom of this pirate ship. Is it jewels or gold? What's down here? I'm gonna make a little detail going around the outside of these windows too. The last thing I'm going to do on my actual boat is I'm going to make a few lines so it looks a little bit more like wood. They'll curve just a little, but they're mostly straight. And if you make them kind of different lengths, like some could be long, like this one, or some might be kind of short, it will start to look like the texture of wood. Texture is how something feels. Just like that. If you really have some time, you can also go ahead and make the outside of the boat a little bit of a thicker line, and this will just kind of help it stand out from all of the details. So I'm just going and making this line a little bit thicker, drawing next to it. just like this. So far I've done the water and then the hull of the boat. If you would like to add just a few more waves behind the boat, you may. And now it's time for the sails. This is maybe my favorite part. We want the sails to look like they're blowing in the wind. So I'm moving my hand this way. The wind's gonna blow the ship forward. So the sails won't just be squares. We're gonna make some curved lines so it looks like they're catching the wind. I'm gonna put two in the middle and then I might do one in the back in the front. I'm going to start off above the boat a little bit making a horizontal line. Then I'm going to make my two curved lines. So I'm gonna curve out just like this, like the wind is going this way. This curve is going to go the same direction. So this curve and this curve are exactly the same. Then I will connect those with a horizontal line. I'm going to repeat this for all the other sails. The one on top is going to be a little bit smaller. Horizontal line, curved line, curved line, horizontal line. Now, I know this looks really silly because the sails are just floating right now. So I'm gonna make two vertical lines to make the mast. A vertical line is going to go up and down. So this is straight up and down. I'm going to have to hop with my marker so it looks like the mast is behind the sails. So I'm just kind of following the line and then I'll follow it again. At the top here, you could add a crow's nest, which is where the pirates would climb up and stand up there to see things far away. That would be a curved line. And then I'm going to make the top of it like this so someone could stand in there. You don't need to make this. You could also make a flag, which I will make next. Over here, I'm going to make another sail. Exact same pattern. 
horizontal line, curved line, so it's catching the wind, all the curves are going to be the same, curved line, horizontal line, and I'm done. Then I can make the mast. I'm going to make a vertical line going up, second vertical line going up. I'm gonna follow it through the sail, just like this. Now, my first flag is just going to be a rectangle. I'm gonna go straight across, up, straight across, and down. You could put your initials on the flag or something else, some other decoration. I'm putting FP for Flynn Park. Because I have time, I'm going to put one more smaller sail on the front with a horizontal line, curve, curve, horizontal line. Then I'll make two vertical lines going up and down, just like this, following it through. Now it's time to make the flag. I'm going to make a bumpy line going out. Then I'm gonna make two zigzag lines, back and forth and back, just like this. Now that I have my whole pirate ship drawn, it's time to color. You may use markers, colored pencils, crayons, whatever you have at home. My only suggestion, whatever you're coloring with, I'll start with the pirate ship, is to color the outside first, kind of like I'm doing here. So I'm kind of making that outline and that makes it a really easy to color inside. I'm simply going back and forth or in little circles. Remember, you are more than welcome to mix colors together if you are using crayons or colored pencils. That doesn't work as well with markers. And when I'm using crayons, I like to sometimes color a little bit darker to make a detail stand out. So I'm coloring darker, pressing harder, so the outside of the window stands out from the rest of the boat a little bit. When you are finished coloring, your art might look something like this. I hope you had a lot of fun, Flynn Park. I'll see you next time.